Hey there, it's Carrie the Expat Mommy here back with a video about kitchen items I've brought over from the States. So today I want to share with you five kitchen items that I've brought over from the States in order to help me cook American recipes here in Germany. So with that being said, let's get started. So if you've watched any other Americans talk about what they've brought over from the States, then you may be familiar with American measuring cups. And I do also have the measuring spoons for them that go along too. In order to make American recipes, um, you often need to have cups. I have also brought over the measuring spoons. And although I've seen measuring spoons in Germany, I'm not quite sure if they're the same sizes as the American size. Yeah, I just that I have everything ready to make any kind of American recipe. I have my measuring spoons and measuring cups. So keeping in the theme of baking, I have also brought, oh, I also brought over a mini muffin tin or a mini cupcake tin. I know that you can get these now in Germany, although I'm not really sure if you can only get them um, through over the internet, but I bought this quite a few years ago when we first moved over to Germany and they're really great for um, little kid birthday parties and stuff that you can make little cupcakes that are just the size for little hands. I have my normal size muffin tin and I do believe I also got this one in, in the States as well, but you can see that maybe a little bit that they're bigger. <laughs> these are bigger. So um, yeah, when these were popular, I did go ahead and, and get a muffin tin and bring it over. So a mini muffin tin. Okay, so I really hope that you guys don't think that all I do is bake all day, but I do have one thing that is still within the realm of baking and that it's a little bit more traditional. And these are pie tins. Okay, so first of all, pie tins are very difficult to find here in Germany. Pie tins tend to have a little bit of an angle, whereas, okay, so I have my spring form. This is a German form. This is a German cake form. It's a spring form. Before I had my pie tins, I've made my pies in here. And you can see how very almost 90 degree angle that is. And um, yeah, this is what I use. And so you find more spring forms in Germany compared to in the States or rather you bake more with them. You can find them in the States, but you bake more with them than Americans would. And the thing with here, here you can't really see, there's not really a rim so much. And this one has more of a rim that you can use also for like your crust when you're baking. And so these are something that I really use a lot at Thanksgiving and in the, for the holidays when I'm baking more pies. And um, these are something that most Americans do miss when they come over from the States, if they're into baking, because you just can't find as many, um, there, you can't find so many small cake forms and then cake forms that aren't so um, like 90 degree angle that are a little bit angled and um, that have a rim for your crust. So those are my pie tins. <laughs> So with the last two items that I'd like to show you, I'm getting out of, out of baking and going more into just cooking. So first I'd like to show you our corn holders. And these are our corn holders. We have a set of them. And what you do is when you're eating corn on the cob, you stick these in the ends and it allows you to eat and you don't get your hands messy and it makes it a lot easier to eat corn on the cob. Also when they're hot, you don't have to worry about burning your fingers because you're touching the ends. I know my family growing up also had corn holders and I think this is just a thing that Americans tend to have, just like measuring cups maybe. And if you're American and and you've never seen these or you don't have corn holders at home, please let me know because I'd really be interested to know how many people perhaps don't use these. We loved corn on the cob in our house, so these were definitely something that we always had. When my husband and I moved to Germany, we wanted these as well, that for when it comes to, when you can actually get corn on the cob in Germany, as it's definitely not as popular as it is in the States, we do, 
we are prepared so that we don't burn our fingers and we don't get them all messy. So those are corn holders. Okay, and now for my last um, item or kitchen item. And this is probably something a little bit more unusual, but people in the Southwest or anyone who's ever gone to a Mexican restaurant in the US has probably seen one of these. And this is a tortilla warmer. And my family also had one of these at home. I probably can't imagine that not every family has one of these. But they're really great in the sense that when you've heated up your tortillas, you can keep them warm. The standard size corn tortillas do, from in the States do fit in these, in this um, tortilla holder. And you can find them sometimes that size in Germany. But let me show you what size you normally find here in Germany. Okay, so I have here the standard size tortilla that we normally buy, and they're actually not Mexican or South American or anything like this. We tend to buy Turkish, like from the Turkish market. And as you can see, this is a lot bigger. And my tortilla warmer, they just don't fit in my tortilla warmer, which is rather quite sad. And therefore we do have to warm up our tortillas one at a time. And so when tortillas actually do fit in this thing, it is quite helpful. And, um, but yeah, that was one thing that I, I felt that I needed when I moved to Germany and it just hasn't worked out for me as I thought it would. Those were five items that I have in my kitchen for the things I thought that were necessary and some things I do actually use on a fairly regular basis, but those were things that I have in my kitchen that I brought over from the States. Yeah, with that being said, if you have any questions or comments regarding um, any of these items, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Or if you're interested in any further videos about expat life or raising children abroad, please feel free to check out my channel and um, make sure to subscribe. With that being said, I hope you are all having a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye!